Well, the stock market is showing us some pretty big numbers this week. We are bringing in Alan Palmer of High Ground Trading for a closer look at some of the technicals in the S&P 500. Thanks so much for coming on the show today. Thanks, Angela. So what are you seeing here? Uh, okay, uh, the stock market right now, we're kind of knocking on the door of extremes. We're going straight up and the uh, S&Ps are around 3,000, uh, Dow 27,100. These are measured extremes that we, I believe we might be able to, we're either gonna pause, possibly top, or we could, these algorithms flip and then we really go higher and we make new highs. It's, it's, it's something that, that we've, we've clawed all the way back to the high and we have the Fed talking about lowering interest rates with the stock market at record highs. I've never seen it in my entire career. I've been down here 40 years. I've never seen anything like that, but that's the game that we have going on. So stocks, I'm gonna borrow uh, Vice President Pence, buckle up. Alan, when you take a look at this market and you keep in mind that today is Friday the 13th and a full moon day, will this rattle investors? I know I'm not superstitious, but will traders be superstitious today? Well, traders have been known to be superstitious. Things like trading coats and ties, you know, you had your lucky tie that gave you the courage, or at least you thought, to go in there and hack it out with these guys and uh, until it goes cold. So and then we have to adapt and change. So today, what do you think is likely to happen? Will it play into that or will people just be steady as she goes? You know, this is really a high energy level here. Uh, on some of my measurements, what we do is we come up and post these extremes. They could be a top, they could be an acceleration point of something higher here. We just happen to be at that big number and the S&P's around 3,000, you know, it's just an even round number. And, uh, but maybe we go for 3333 if you want to throw something out there. But that's, and that'd be about 10% higher here. So anything goes, just uh, always try to use a risk stop. You just really have to <laughs> use a risk stop. Good advice. Thanks so much for coming on the show today. Thanks, Angela. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.